Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors and Power of the Force fanatics. Welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're looking at Boba Fett. The one, the only, the last one of the six Bounty Hunters, Boba Fett. And uh, you know what's funny? I actually, I didn't learn until recently that there was two different Boba Fetts released. There was one with his green, uh, green gauntlets to make him a little bit more Empire Strikes Back-ish. I don't know if there was any much other difference. I haven't looked into it that much, but uh, I just saw one uh, as a matter of fact, just in passing online, and I was just like. Oh, I didn't realize they did that, but um, they did. Uh, his backpack is removable. So yeah, we're getting very, very excited about Book of Boba Fett. We're only a couple of weeks away. This is a jetpack, which is actually really well weathered. Um, really well sort of painted for the time. You know, there's silver scratch marks and stuff like that. It's pretty soft. It's attached to his back. Do have his little Wookiee braids and his quote-unquote cape that just sort of sits over his neck. But yeah, I'd never had Boba Fett as a kid. It's one I, I always wanted, just never got him. He was he would have been popular for the time, and you know it was just probably a case of you know my mum who probably probably did 99% of my my shopping for me for birthdays and 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 Christmas and other stuff like that. Um, yeah, she probably just couldn't find Boba Fett. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at his gun. So yeah, obviously, completely, you know, stylized for the time. Power of the Force. Yeah, have some sort of elements like the, just the basic shape and the and the barrel here. Um, but yeah, it's it's nothing like Boba Fett's proper proper blaster rifle. That he carries the. Uh, is it the E30, E3 e or E33, E double E3? I can't remember. Anyway, I like it. He's still a cool figure. I do have another one that is, uh, you know, it's a bit more damaged. It doesn't have the jetpack. Maybe it does. I can't see. Uh, that has been broken off. <laughs> um, yeah, he's missing missing a bunch of stuff. It was definitely uh, pre-loved. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to check, try and find the uh, the green one, the alternate look. Whether it was part of the Shadows of the Empire, or I, I haven't looked into it that much. But um, I might might look into doing that, seeing seeing if I can track that one down. Because yeah, it'd be a little bit more accurate to have that one with the other bounty hunters than the one with the red. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks. You know, iconic Boba Fett. You know, I think we've all recently come out of the Fett closet. We've always liked him. I went through, I did go through quite a few years of him, you know, feeling like he was pretty overrated. And for the time he was. Um, but I never, I never stood down from the fact that he looks killer. He looks awesome. He's badass. He looks badass. And uh, yeah, now we're really getting some more Boba Fett action fleshed out through the Mandalorian and the uh, coming Book of Boba Fett series, which I am just absolutely pumped for. So, I um, hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. Definitely gonna have some more Power of the Force Fridays coming up before the end of the year. If anyone's got any uh, requests, I'd be happy to fulfill them. Just uh, have a scroll through my channel. I do have them all in a playlist. I think I'm up to date with that. Um, so you can see what I've done and if there's anything you'd like to see sort of brought into a weekly weekly video I'd love to I'd love to get into that otherwise I'll just pick a random figure out of the shelf and uh, we'll just keep keep going with the power of the force Fridays until uh, until I'm done <laughs> which you know then I'll have to start buying some more um, <laughs> but yeah it's a uh, you know, he's he-man Boba Fett he's Quads, he's in training, he's, he doesn't skip leg day. Look at those calves. And uh, yeah, he's definitely got a definitely got a 12 pack under there. And you can see his muscles bulging out the side of his armor there. It's hilarious. 
so ridiculous, but it's so cool. I do want to get the uh, I do want to get the Shadows of the Empire Boba Fett versus IG88 set. I think that looks really cool, especially the way they're posed in the box, like fighting each other. I I, I really want that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd open it because I don't really need to open a Boba Fett in an IG-88, but um, it'd be cool to have that packaging. I just really like the look of it. So uh, yeah, that does it for this week's Power of the Force Friday. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Boba Fett. Uh, do you have this one as a kid? Do you have this one when you were well, younger, whether you're a kid or a younger adult? Love to hear any stories about Boba Fett and you sort of play sort of things you had as a kid you know we all have these little wild imaginations as kids about you know who these characters are and who they were and what their stories were and you know had a good imagination you used to be able to make up stories as kids and that's uh imagination is just such an important part of childhood and uh hope that long continues for many years to come for many generations of kids growing up using star wars to inspire their imaginations so Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it big time. Always. You're all awesome, fantastic. And uh, yeah, much love. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And I'll pick up a buffet so I can get out of here. And thank you for watching. Until then, may the force be with you. Always.